So now, now uh, we have the payments which add up to the 106,892. So if I pull up the trusty calculator here, I can say, let's do a trusty calculation with the trusty calculator. We're at the 106,829 minus what we have on the bank statement, which is here minus the 111,829. So we're off by 5,000, which is that, which is that, 5,000 right here, which I couldn't enter because I know those were the cleared items from last time that aren't in the system because that's part of the beginning balance issue. Okay, so now you would think, you would think that this would be at zero. So I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna try to double, there's an error here. You've probably noticed this by now. There's an error here. Let's see if we can figure it out. So, so first of all, the beginning balance up top is 30,000. That's different than our beginning balance by 25,000, right? So, so they have here 25,000. So there's a difference of 5,000. And then the additions are 143,070. And that ties out to the 143,070,85. So that is correct. And then the payments we just saw has a difference of 111,829 minus the over here the payments are at 106829 so that's another difference of 5000 so you would think that i would i would be actually netting out to zero here or be off by like 10000 right so how am i off by 3960 it has to be because the the actual cleared balance is incorrect the cleared balance 6128145 over here i have 261 24185. So I did like a dyslexic thing, which I am prone to do from time to time, but it's out of pure example problem purposes and not because the, the stupid number was turned around. So in any case, well, let's edit that one and say, this is going to be, this needs to change. This needs to 61 24185. This is just why we do the, just so you, we can fix these data input. Uh, errors that people sometimes make when they're not doing it on purpose. 61241.85. 61241.85. So that should put us back in balance. So there, now it's at zero. So now it's at zero. So now you could say, well, let's just move forward. And we could, we could move forward and say, well, that's the first bank rec. I don't quite get it. I don't quite understand because this is wrong and this is wrong but they kind of net each other out so whatever and you could go forward and reconcile and you would be good going forward because the next uh ending balance will be pr proper to the beginning balance next time but it's not exactly right if you go forward doing that because and it, it might not always work because these two items happen to have cleared sometimes these two items might not have cleared in the following period and then you won't have that happy coincidence that it ties out. And even if you do, it's it's still kind of an issue because this bank reconciliation doesn't really make sense. If you gave it to an auditor, if you tried to f explain what happened, you'd be like, yeah, the beginning balance was 25,000, even though it's 30 here. And then down here, we had a difference of the same, but that like the opposite. So what we really would like to do uh, is is deal with that beginning balance issue so that we have a nice audit trail to see what happened from the prior accounting software which is that we have these two amounts that were outstanding last time meaning they were included in our accounting system but not cleared the bank yet which now have cleared the bank this time and so we'll and so we'd like to document that so it makes sense uh and we can see it so we'll do that that's the issue we'll deal with next time before we finalize so don't finish it yet you're going to be tempted to hit that green button and you could, you, it won't be the end of the world or anything, but hold your horses, hold your horses because the horse needs love too. And if your horse looks really tired, so just hold, give it a hug and then uh, we'll come back and we'll finish it up next time.